Yo, what is up, everybody? Jumping here, and today I'm gonna be continuing my Let's Play Mass Effect one. Oh, Let's Play Mass Effect the uh, trilogy, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I will say this real quick. I am so sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. But uh, yeah, I've been really lazy. I gotta be honest. I mean, I. I don't know, maybe I'm just really not into Mass Effect uh, 1 right now. If I was playing Mass Effect 2, I'd probably be more into it. So if I do finish up this Mass Effect 1, I probably might do Mass Effect 2 just because I really like that game a lot. A lot. It's uh, not saying Mass Effect 1 isn't a great game. Because Mass Effect 1 is probably the best Mass Effect, to be quite honest, because the story is the best. And stories, you know, the story is what really, really matters, but at the same time, um, I don't know, I'm just, like I said, just not really um, feeling it right now. So I have to apologize for the for me not doing it and stuff. But if you guys, uh, you know, oh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, um, if you guys, uh, you know, might have been watching my channel, you know I'm starting like that uh, Dark Souls uh, playthrough or whatever. And, um, you know, the thing about that is I'm actually really enjoying that because I... I haven't played that game in so long, and uh, it's such a different kind of game, and it's just really kind of fun commentating it. And I think a lot of people can can tell that you know I, I I'm really digging it and I'm enjoying it. So like that's a game that I would you know totally like just start finish just because it's just been so much fun. But with me, I'm just lazy with this game. I just got to be honest. So like I said, I'm sorry. But anyway, um. In my last part of this, this is Vermeer, if you guys can't tell. And in my last part, we got to talk to a sovereign, uh, which is the first reaper you ever meet. And then you figure out that, you, oh, he is not just some giant ship. He is a reaper. Oh, my God. You know, it's, it's insane. It's kind of like the twist of this game, which I, I think I said in my last part. Oh, I'm out of Omni stuff. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, got it. Anyway, uh, I kind of said in the last part, too, that, you know, um, I think I started to talk about it. Like, the twist in this game, you know, it was it was definitely something cool, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like what they did in, like, what Bioware was able to do in uh, Night So. Oh, wow, he doesn't have his warp back. All right, let me use my warp then. Warp! Oh, you gotta watch out for the sniper. Ah, no, 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 don't kill me. I'm scared. Anyway, um, like, Night of Republic, man, whew, that game has such an awesome twist to it. And this game's twist is pretty cool too, but Bioware is just kind of known for doing like uh, a twist to their games. Uh, that is like what they do. But, you know, overall though, it is kind of cool. But, you know, I think the problem that Bioware really ran into, um, because you can even like see it in this game, and in this game it's so cool. Because, like, when you talk to Sovereign for the first time, and you finally get to talk to that Reaper, you, you know, you, you do what any normal person would do, like what you expect a Shepherd to do. He asks a lot of questions. You can ask it, um, pretty much all the main questions that you want to know. And, 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 like, the thing is, is that you want to know the answers to these questions in all three of the games. And those questions, uh, really come down to, um, you know, what is your purpose? And I'm talking about the Reapers here for anyone who might be confused. What is your purpose? Who created you? And um, I can't remember the third question, but, you know, it's something along those lines. Or, you know, I want to say, what you know, why are you doing this? But that's pretty much also plays into what is your purpose? But there's like three big questions that you really want to ask the Reapers. And in this game, the way they like do it is awesome. Like, you know, like they um, right here, I think this will help Captain Karaki, but apparently someone left a comment in my last part and said that uh, I'm an idiot and I missed I missed I messed up so he's gonna die and that sucks that really does suck. I'm sorry but I ain't gonna redo it I don't really care too much about Karaki I know you guys are gonna be like oh jump and hold the line why don't you care but you know I just don't feel like redoing that whole part just to save Captain Karaki so Anyway, um, like I was saying though, uh, Reapers, you know, like I think in this game they, they really did a good job because this is pretty much what they did. This is the best way to explain it is that they made it so um, uh, I, I, cryptic, you know, like like Sovereign was so cryptic and it was like almost chilling. 
It's like, and the, and the way he talked to you was awesome. It's like, what is your purpose? Or no, no, no. Who created you? He says, you know, we have no end. We have no beginning. Like, that's some, that's some cold-blooded shit that you expect, like, a, you know, a robot that's going to kill everybody would say. You know what I mean? Um, but I think the problem is, is that, you know, they didn't come up with the answer, obviously, in this game. They didn't, like, pre-think the answer. And I think that was really their issue the entire series, is that they really couldn't figure out a good answer to any of those questions. And, I mean, look at Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2 really had not much to do with the Reapers. Now you had the Collectors, which kind of had a big part you know with the reapers like you know they had um different things about you gotta be careful right here actually i gotta be honest let me shut up for a second i've had glitches happen where like joker oh, right. will never show up nice so hopefully That's he shows up and i don't have to worry about, about that Commander, I'm bringing us in. all right hold Get on as close to the site as i can anyway but yeah you know they i just think like in mass effect 2 you know they, they kind of went in that collector's direction because they still didn't really know the answer to um, you know the questions uh, they didn't come up with the answers yet and Mass Effect 3 I mean that's the pretty much like <laughs> you know you you know what I'm talking about like their answers they finally had to come up with were kind of ridiculous so uh, here's gonna be a cutscene with the really weird animation blurriness and um, also they're gonna be taking this nuke or whatever but um, you know I can explain if you try to explain the story of Mass Effect to someone who doesn't know it, it they, they would say that sounds like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's like almost trying to explain Halo. It's really tough. Position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kira, he's dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. You can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. Alrighty. So at this point, we get to repick our people. Once again, same thing. Doesn't really matter. But uh, if you don't know what's going on in the story... Um, uh, yes, Karaki, or I think that's how you say his name. He did die to Solarian, unfortunately. And, um, you know, that's just kind of how it goes. I don't know why I'm running around in a circle here. But now Ashley's going to chill here with the bomb and protect it while we are going to go try to pick up our rescue Caden from uh, his, uh, you know, that disaster that's going on over there. Where's the switch? Here it is. But yeah, man, if you try to really explain that Mass Effect story uh, to people, they just think that, you know, you're on drugs. Because, I mean, it kind of sounds that way. I mean, let's be honest. Um, and I will try right now to explain it to you. I'm just trying to not to die. Hold on. Um, oh, God. These freaking things. Stop moving so much. Ah! Where's these enemies at? There's the Krogan. Where's my warp? Hit him with the warp. And now we're going to shoot him. That motherfucker. That. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Krogan's the bastards. Where's my drill and rush? This is like the last. I think this is like the last fight. Well, it's not the last fight, but it's like. Okay, let me just shut up. It's not the last fight. But um, all right. So I'm gonna try to explain to you right now what the Mass Effect story is all about in a nutshell. Basically, it's like uh, the best way to explain it is like, hey, um, ba uh, hey, we don't want you oh okay well let me start over <laughs> it's always fun explaining this but all right it's like um all right so because organics uh are destined to be destroyed by synthetics because organics will create synthetics that will destroy themselves or whatever this cl door is closing ah! what the hell how did that happen uh open up anyway but, okay, so like I said, uh, you know, organics are destined to be destroyed by synthetics because organics will create synthetics that will destroy them. All right, so to protect organics from synthetics, someone had this bright idea that they were going to create a group of synthetics that would come every 50,000 years and kill all the organics to protect those organics from, you know, being wiped out by synthetics. And if you were to tell us that to someone who hasn't played the game and is sane, they would say, 
that sounds like fucking garbage. That's retarded. Like, who? Wh why are you talking about? Like, they would think you're high on drugs. Like, they're like, I heard Mass Effect had a great story. Um, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. So, you know, that's it in a nutshell. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, well, jump in. There's more to it. Does uh, you know, blah blah blah. And it's like, this is yeah, it's true. There is more to it. Yeah, they're sending in reinforcements. But, uh, yeah, you know, that's the disappointing part of Mass Effect 3 in the nutshell. Already here, and it's bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams. <sighs> Hard decisions, man. Hard decisions, but <laughs> not really, because Ashley is a garbage, so... <laughs> Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Yes, Commander. I... I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I love this. I love what you could say right here. Of course it was. You know, hey, it's me. I'm Shepard. I'm a ginormous narcissist. <laughs> Fight hard, Chief. Die proud. Aye, aye, Commander. You know. Anyway, yeah, poor Ashley. She's going to get uh, roasted up. But, um, I mean, that's just how it goes. Like, if you kept Ashley in Mass Effect 1, I was so happy I always kept Caden just because I was like, Caden is at least not useless like Ashley is. And Ashley's kind of like a bitch anyway, honestly. Let's, let's, be, let's be honest. She's kind of a... She's mean, man. She's mean to Liara in this game. And it's like, yo, 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 girl... Liara's my baby. Like, don't, don't, don't be talking shit to my baby. You know, you racist and shit. Like, get off of that. Come on now. This is like hundreds of years in the future, man. We shouldn't be tripping on like, you know, all this nonsense. You know, it's all about love, not hate. And I love Liara, so fuck. Anyway, enough of the preaching. Let's kill some motherfucking gaff. Die. Ah, la, 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 la. Commander, you, you know, need to move we gonna blow these fools Help. away. Um. Take that Watch dude out. Uh, take you fire. out. Hurry up. Take you. Ah, it's stupid. <sighs> Combat is so retarded at times in this game. This is like, oh, I'm shooting you. Oh, you're gonna die. Oh, force field. All right, that, 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 die. Thank you. I think that's it. At least that, that should be it. Okay, that that was it. Okay, what's going on? Oh God, what's going on? So here we go, guys. The epic confrontion. Oh wait, that's not that's not how you say that. The epic uh, confronting of Saren for the really first time. Well, maybe second time, but whatever. This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We Organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the... dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. 
The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. You were a Spectre. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Oh, whoa! Alrighty, um... Let's kick some sarin freaking ass. This is a very easy fight, to be quite honest. Um... I think like, if, as long as you warp him and you marksman him, I mean he goes down real quick. I love, I love that um, conversation with Saren. It is very epic, so I won't diss it too much. But there is one thing that he always says, because um, honestly he makes a lot of sense too. I mean, like the first time you talked to him, special. Oh god, I thought I was died. <laughs> this is always epic too. It's just like, uh, it's like, yeah, what up, bitch? Trying to throw me off the cliff gonna smack you in the face um uh, but there is one thing he does say in that conversation that I always found always bugged me which is I will save more lives than ever you know then I will save more lives than there has ever existed I don't know some shit like that um and it's like what are you talking about <laughs> how is that how could you save more lives than there has ever been existed lives. I don't know. I know someone's gonna comment. He's like, well, he's talking about future generations and, you know, something like that. And I'm sure that's what he's talking about, but it's just one of those lines in a game where you're just like, ah, I might have, maybe I could have wrote that a little bit better. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Alright, so this is the epic moment of, uh, Ashley being a, a gangster and going out like a G, and Shepard looking all like, you know, thinking all hard all about right, it, and it's on. just like, everybody hang on! Boom! Biatch! Yeah, poor Ashley. That's one thing Mass Effect does. I mean, when you play this part, this Vermeer mission, it fucking blows your mind. Because, like, you know, the first time you play it, more likely you're going to accidentally kill Rex, and you're like, <gasps> Rex is dead, and then like Ashley or Caden dies. You're like, dude, this game is crazy. How could we just leave her down there? And then you also find out about Sovereign. You know, like that whole mission is epic. Then you confront Saren. You fight him for the first time, and he, you know, drops some like knowledge bombs on you. Vermeer is just the shit. Okay, I love that mission. It's one of my favorites ever in all of Mass Effect trilogy everything Williams knew the risks going in she gave her life to save the rest of us but why me why not her it wasn't your call Olenko I had to choose I chose you but if I'd done my job you wouldn't have had to make that call it wasn't your fault it wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, sir, I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead.
Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Oh, God! Mind fucking me! Ah, 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 ah! God! Ah, I love you, Liara. Like, no, for real. Every time she does that, man, I always think like I'm having like sex with her brain, dude. It's just, uh, it's kind of creepy, but kind of cool, honestly. So, uh, yeah, there you go. You know, so we just get to see this vision for about, I don't know, seventh time, <laughs> you know, which is cool, I guess. I don't, I think we might even see it one more time, or maybe that's it. I can't remember, but Incredible. yeah. I, I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call, a message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard. I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign. A Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> what an asshole, dude. Fuck you. Here's another saying. Go to hell. <laughs> Maybe we were wrong about you, Shepard. Maybe humans are too hot-headed to be specters. Enough. Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. This discussion is only a minor disagreement. Oh, looks like we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. Hate them motherfuckers, dude. Hate them! Ugh! They piss me off so much in this game. It's just like, please believe me! Please believe me, I'm not lying to you, you fucking alien fuckers. Maybe I should have kept Ashley along, around so we could just talk shit. Fucking assholes, man. Anyway, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. I will be finishing up this game. Do not worry about that. I'll try to get it done. Not too much left. Maybe another three, four, five parts. Don't really know. We'll see. But like always, guys, please give me a thumbs up. You know I love you for it. And, like always, have a nice day.